If you want a BMW X5, how much do you have to earn realistically? I would say you're probably looking around about 60K plus. And there's a few different options on whether it's petrol, hybrid, electric, which one's gonna be cheapest? Yeah, there is a few different options on this. So it depends on how you're looking to fund it. If you're looking to just lease the vehicle personally or get the vehicle personally, um, you'd be looking at a, a petrol diesel version. Um, if you're looking to get a plug-in hybrid or a full electric version, they don't actually make a full electric X5. It's probably the closest would be the BMW iX, which is a similar size, yeah. a very similar car. You'd want to do it through the business through something called salary sacrifice. And the reason being is because you can use it, you know, basically you can get the vehicle by paying for it with your gross earnings and you're saving on income tax and national insurance, so it just works out massively cheaper in comparison. Does it? So it does make a big difference in the, the price then, does it? Yeah, it makes a massive difference in the pricing. How much are we talking compared to like the petrol or the diesel version? It, it completely depends on sort of what tax pay you fall into when you're doing it, but I would say depending on how, because a personal contract, you'd probably go down the route of a PCP where there's a balloon at the end and the cost obviously attracts APR. Um, there's a lot of costings involved, but I would say you'd at least be a couple of hundred to, a, to more cheaper. Per month? Per month going through that route.